In one word, what does Danny Paris mean to you? Determined. How does Danny's legacy impact doctors pursuing a career in MFM? Danny's passion for research was insatiable. Even as she was dying, she refused to stop working on her research because the idea that it might go unfinished was too much for her to handle. Knowing that this scholarship will allow young researchers to continue to have an impact on women and babies would mean everything to her and bring her a lot of peace. Danny's love of medicine and the field of maternal fetal medicine was evident to anyone that met her. Even after her devastating diagnosis of stage 4 lung cancer in August of 2016 when she was a first year MFM fellow at Penn, she was determined to continue her dream of becoming a maternal fetal medicine physician. She used her remaining time fighting to fulfill that dream, continuing to work on the labor floor, doing deliveries with her love of forceps, and continuing research. Danny's dedication to clinical medicine was rivaled by her passion and enthusiasm for research. One thing that's very special that I remember about Danny is how she always took all of her challenges with such grace. She always stayed positive, she always stayed productive, and she always cared about the people around her. It's a big part of her legacy. It's something that I always remember about her, visiting her in the hospital when she was really feeling ill, but always asking how everybody else was. It was very special and I keep it to me to this day. When Danny wrote about her illness in the New York Times, she said, I might never see the finish line of fellowship graduation, but I am still a doctor. I am lucky enough to be learning every day and can still make my patients' lives better. It is this positive mindset, continuous desire to improve and provide for our patients that we take into our job every single day. As her co-fellows and as her friends, we watched and stood by as Dan navigated her most challenging times. With unrelenting commitment to our patients and her wish really was always to remain steadfast to the goal of advancing medicine through patient care and um, through academic medicine. She did this and lives on through her memorial fund every day. Those receiving her award really should know that your grit, your determination, and your perseverance through the challenges of fellowship and I'm sure through your academic work challenges are supported not only by Danny but by your community, your peers, your colleagues, and your institutions every day. It is not surprising that even during her darkest and sickest days, Danny was thinking about how she could make a difference in the field of maternal fetal medicine. Through her generosity, she hopes to give other MFM fellows the opportunity to conduct research that otherwise would not have been possible without funding. For this reason, as Danny's health declined, she expressed an interest in helping future MFM fellows fulfill their dream in conducting research during MFM fellowship. The Danielle Perez Memorial Fund was established in Danny's honors to do just that, to further advance the field of maternal fetal medicine by supporting MFM fellows in their research endeavors during fellowship. We love and miss you, Danny. It's really hard to sum up in a succinct way what Danny means to me. I have countless memories of our time in residency together, um, memories of her just exemplifying going above and beyond as a doctor, um, showing the utmost compassion and care for her patients. Um, I have plenty of hilarious memories of her as well. She was such a fun person to um, go through such a rigorous part of life with. She just made everything a little bit more fun. Um, one of my favorite stories from residency that really embodies the type of person and doctor that Danny was, was one time we had a patient who had received um, some of her care in, a, in another country, and so she had sort of a complicated medical history that we couldn't quite decipher. And Danny got a hold of a bunch of her records, but they were in another language, and Danny somehow hunted down someone literally in another country to personally translate these records for this patient. And that's just kind of one small but um, 
one small example of things that she repeatedly did to provide the best care possible for her patients. I met Danny at med school orientation and we became fast friends. It was obvious on first meeting her how passionate she was about maternal field medicine and taking care of pregnant patients. Her empathy and care for her patients never wavered, even when she was at her most ill. She always pursued research to try to improve patient care, even before becoming a doctor. And one of the things I remember about her last days was her wondering if she made an impact. I told her then, and whenever I speak about her, I say this, she made a huge impact. Not just on the field of maternal fetal medicine, but on everyone she met. She inspired me to be a more empathetic and caring doctor, to truly listen to my patients and make sure to communicate effectively and patiently. And she also impacted her chosen field with a research legacy that will continue to inspire more and more progress to improve the care during high-risk pregnancies. The Memorial Scholarship is such an honor to her memory, as the demands of training and research can be very difficult to navigate. But Danny always kept in mind the purpose and inspiration behind all of these efforts, and she truly leaned into appreciating the positives of her experiences. She told me that what she would miss most at the end was the deliveries, seeing the families that she made, the end of these often challenging pregnancies and how rewarding it was to know that she helped her patients and their babies. I hope that the recipients of the scholarship are also able to feel the rewards of their efforts, even during the demands of training, and are able to continue to be empathetic even when things are challenging. This is the best way to honor Danny's memory that I can think of. I always felt happy to see her and felt comforted that I knew somebody really smart and helpful was gonna be there to work with me. Um, and I always just knew that Danny was going to take excellent care of our patients. Um, and that, so I just always felt sort of like a calmness <laughs> from her um, because of her skill as a physician and also just her uh, kindness as a person. Um, Danny never shied away from hard work. She would take an extra patient on, she would write an extra note, she would stay late after a call shift. She always made sure that everything got done and she never uh, left anybody in the dust. Like she just um, was always really committed and hardworking. Um, and that's something that I, I hope that her legacy will impact. Um, doctors going into MFM is that they will see the patient as a whole person and they won't be afraid to push that extra little bit to get something done. Um, and those two things of really seeing the humanity in everyone and being so dedicated to um, her, to being the craft of medicine and to helping others is um, what I really think Danny's legacy is in medicine. I really hope that this Memorial Scholarship will help future MFMs to do stuff that Danny would have done, which is to look closer um, at the medical issues of a patient as well as their social um, concerns, to think a little differently about something and take the extra time to research it or um, look something up and to maybe choose something a little bit harder um, and not shy away from things that are difficult. And those are all things that um, will help medicine and help the future of MFM and ultimately help our patients. Danny was my daughter, but superhero is the one word that I would use to describe her from the time she was diagnosed with cancer through her death. She battled a terrible disease just as you would expect a superhero to do. Instead of surrendering to her illness, she did her best to continue working to help others in need. What else could we expect from Danny, who proclaimed at the age of 10 that she would become a physician so she could contribute to the world? And indeed, she became a physician, and in a brief time on this earth, she helped so many. When Danny was in her residency and we would see an expectant mom, I would often tease her by asking whether the woman would be better off with her or an EMT technician if the woman weren't, went into labor. She would answer that the, that the woman would be better with the EMT technician. Until that is, she delivered her share of babies. And then I remember so distinctly the first time that she confidently stated that the expectant mom and her baby would be better off with her. I was indeed so proud. From the time when Danny was a baby, she was determined to be in control. 
She was so strong-willed that sometimes she felt we felt that she was the adult and we were the children. Her instincts were on point, and we often felt that she was smarter than the average child. Even as a young child, Danny decided that she wanted to be in a profession where she would help people. We never had to supervise her homework or her projects. She was so motivated to succeed that we often wondered if she was enjoying her time in school. We worried needlessly. Danny had so many friends that we didn't understand how her social life didn't interfere with her academics. Somehow she was able to handle it all. Danny was a true warrior. She knew that she had a dire diagnosis, but she decided that she was gonna make the most of her limited time. She did not stop working until she was so sick that she couldn't continue. I remember being in the car with her a few weeks before she passed, and she said she wanted her research to continue. She was so committed to maternal fetal medicine that it was what she thought about when others would be thinking about their own mortality. Danny would be grateful that her friends and colleagues are continuing her life's work. Research was always so important to her. Thank you, Jen, for being such a good friend and continuing to honor Danny's memory.